So today I'm going to be working on a Whirlpool uh, dryer that the door switch broke. I have the replacement part here. I'm going to show you how to take off the top and replace the switch and also how to jump it out if you want to do that temporarily until you get the new part. So what you need to do uh, is you're going to need to take off this drawer here and remove these two screws. These just help secure the top in place and do not drop them down inside uh, of the machine. You will not have a good time getting them back out. Okay, take one out of the way. Looks like they need to clean their lint filter, my God. Okay. And then all you need here is inside, there's a little clip on these things. You just need like a putty knife or something. I've got a little door sham that works perfectly for this. Pop this up. And then you're gonna have access to get to the door switch. Now I've already taken this one out, but it's just two screws. I'll show you where those go. Those go right here. There'll be two screws and you'll see when I put this one on. So I'm going to get my new switch out and I'll be right back. Before I do that, it's probably not a bad idea to turn off the dryer from the breaker panel. Probably should have done that first, uh, but who's perfect. So I got this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this open and I am gonna get something to prop this up. Okay, so I got a cardboard just propping it up. Uh, so if you did wanna jump it out, it's the two outer wires and then this one you just cap it off. Uh, we are ready to install the new switch. So this thing has a little clip here. Kind of push it down and get this thing out. Let's see here. Flat head here. Over. So here's the old switch. I took it apart, and the two outer connections are the ones you want to jump together. Just get the line really There we go. Okay, it's out now. Now I have my new door switch here. There's only one way that this can go. Just plug it in like this. There we go. And then this is going to feed down through the hole. Let's see if I can take you in there. Uh, right down through this hole here like that okay now I taped my screws up here okay let's grab these screws grab the screwdriver Those screws nice and tight. All right, so it's making a good clicking noise. So we can go ahead and all you want to do on this, pop it down, pop it down. And we don't want to forget to put these two screws back in. I think before I tighten them all the way down, though, I'm going to test the machine. Let's see here. There we go. It's going to close, close the door. And here's it start. I turned the, uh, I turned another breaker off. That's what's going on. Epic fail, as always. All right, that should go on now. There we go. Okay, yeah. Definitely make sure you turn the breaker the correct way. Uh, now I can screw the rest of these screws in. We'll go ahead and uh, stop this thing now. back in place. That is done. I'm gonna clean this uh, lint filter and put it back, but if you learned something, smash the like, smash the subscribe button. I've got over a thousand videos on home maintenance. If you have any questions, send me a DM or leave me a comment.